What's going on? It's Audrey here with CBCANetwork.com. What is going on, family? Welcome back to another live stream. Trying to get this lighting right. How are you guys in, in out there in the world? If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure our content get out to a wider audience. We appreciate the support. When you hit that like button, it gets our content out. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the top three gas cards to build business credit in 2022. So we're going to give you some gas cards that you can get. Easy approvals. Um, well, not necessarily easy, but you can get pretty much um, without, an, without a lot of vendors reporting. So if you're new to building business credit or if you're looking for a way to start building business credit in the next 30 days, then you want to stay tuned to this video and this live stream. And as always, like, comment, share below. And uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description as well for the three gas cars they're going to be talking about tonight. So as you guys come in, please, please, please let me know where you're tapping in from, what city, what state. Let me know. Welcome back. Um, oh, I see my guy. I got my guy in here, man. Yeah. 49ers, man. We 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 rep, we repping, man. I, I I didn't even watch the game, man. I was a little nervous. I'll be honest. I thought Aaron Rodgers was, I thought he was due for one. But uh, somehow, some way, man, my boys came through. So shout out to the 49ers. We got the Rams Sunday um, in LA. So that would have been a perfect time to see if the Falcon Stadium or the Rams Stadium was bigger. But that's still on the table. We still going to, we, we still going to try to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so the NFL has been wild, man. That Buffalo and Kansas City, it's been some crazy games, man. It's been some crazy, crazy games. The NFL is alive and well. So shout out to the 49ers, man. We one game away from the big dance. So we just gotta handle our business Sunday and we'll we'll see how the rest plays out. Uh somebody said the A to B fuel car. Okay, we're gonna get into it tonight, man. We're gonna get into the top three gas cars to start building business credit. Uh, we'll see if A and B. We'll see if A to B makes the list, man. We'll see. What's going on, Queens, New York? My guy Elwood, always in the building every week. As always, man. As you guys come in, please, please, please let me know if you got any new approvals this week. I'm on a mission. My mission this week is to see how many weeks in a row we can go with a new approval. Whether it's a net thirty whether it's a gas card, whether it's a vendor account, whether it's a business credit card, business line of credit, Divi, Topago, doesn't matter. Any type of approval. All right? And so, yeah, man. Yeah, we're going to get into it tonight, man. We ain't going to be on here too long, man. We're going to get straight to it. Um, as you guys come in, let me know where you're tapping in from. Also, man, um, shout out to everybody who attended this week's um, this week's masterclass, man. We had a great session. Saturday went down. We had a lot of people really learn. You know, I had a lot of people show up. Uh, man, so it was a great time, great experience, man. Shout out to everybody who came. If you're watching this on the replay and you did miss the masterclass that we had this past weekend, we are looking to do them monthly. So we're going to set it up to where it'll just be a small fee to come back every month um so be on the lookout for that all right guys um so if you already have attended the master class and you want to come back get a refresh uh no worries we'll, we'll set you up with a small you know ten dollar fee and you can come back every month or something like that um who else we got in the building fayetteville in the building what up Nam? what's happening what's happening birmingham in the building Kurt ursula appreciate you tapping in every week as always Ah, man, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, man, we got rid of them cowgirls pretty easily, Damon. That was a pretty easy win. Uh, it is what it is. My guy, Jazz, say good night. Good night, brother. Lighting on point. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. What's going on, New York? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, quadratic, quadratic, pedaway. Okay, Greensboro in the building. Carolina's repping. You already know Carolina's in the building heavy. Make sure y'all share this out, man. Make sure y'all share this out to anyone you think that could, this this content will provide value to. Because uh, we're going to get into it, man. We're going to start getting some approvals, man. Uh, my guy in Greensboro said he got approved for a Wex car. So there we go again. That's three weeks. That's four weeks. Every week this month, somebody's got an approval. Um, so we, we, we keeping it. We keeping the street going, man. I think we're going to get 52 weeks of, in a row. 
I think that's the case, man. Thanks for hosting that class. Yeah, man. It was, it was, it's, it's one of them things, man, where I just really try to pour the, the knowledge into everybody, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, I don't want to be a knowledge hoarder. And I also know that, you know, sometimes when you're in a classroom setting where you have handouts and you have an instructor and you have the ability to kind of just soak the information in, um, you start to execute a little bit more. You know, we do the free live streams every week. We do a lot of content on a YouTube channel, but sometimes people just need to have that setting where they have, you know, somebody that's answering questions. They can get detailed, you know, one on one, so to speak, information and answers uh, to questions that they may have, because a lot of people. You know, as they go about their business credit journey, they run into issues, they run into problems. And of course, we hear, you know, you know, we got the Facebook group. Uh, if you have not yet joined our free Facebook group, make sure you head over to Facebook and, and, and join our free Facebook group, Business Funding Made Easy CBCA Network. Um, also, if you're new to building business credit and you want to learn how to start building business credit in the next 30 days, I want to invite you to get a copy of our free 80 paydex cheat sheet you can go to 80 paydex cheat sheet.com this cheat sheet is going to show you all the vendor credit trade lines that you need how to actually set up your business profile to be banked bankable and lendable right and it's going to also show you how easy it is to find banks in your local area all right so definitely make sure you check out the cheat sheet um but yeah we're gonna get into it man we're gonna have a good time tonight man somebody said they got approved for the fuel man look at that look at god Look at God, man. Yeah, God is the greatest. So we got fuel, man. We got wax approvals. Um, and we're gonna get into all of those tonight. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Barbara says she got Quill, off Suma Office Supplies, and Nav. Awesome. Uh, after this video, I'll put a link in the description for Quill, Suma, and Nav. Uh, all great trade lines, and we're gonna get into those as well. Santana said you got the Chase Bank Unlimited Inc. <laughs> this man is on the road, man. And he's not a fan, man. So it is what it is. What's up, Mark? I got your email, my brother. I'm definitely gonna email you back, man. And uh we'll we'll, we'll set up a call soon. Um, uh, we're having some good strategy calls this week, man. We are actually gonna be bringing back the free strategy calls uh sometime next week. So be on the lookout if you're on our email list. If you're not on our email list, you can send us an email to info at cbcanetwork.com and uh, make sure you tap in with us we will be bringing back the free strategy calls also it's tax season you need to get your taxes together you need to get your tax house in order reach out to the family my homie ola our resident in-house tax strategist here at cbca network get taxfacts.com okay get taxfacts.com so I'm going to get back to the comments, man. We're going to get into it. I don't want to keep us here too long. Uh, Detroit, Pilot J, 10K. Wow. Okay. Okay. I see you, Gavin. You coming with the you coming with the heat tonight. I see you. I see you, 10K, Pilot J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually just spoke with another guy. Okay. Yvonne. Okay. Chevron, 30, 3K, Floor in the Core, 14.5. Okay. I see you. 14.5. There ain't nothing to sneeze at either. That's 14.5. Big ones. Floor and decor is a great one, man. Uh, thanks for dropping. Yeah, Damon, always, man. That's what I'm here for, my brother. Uh, Jazz said, I got two this week. Core pay 20K and floor and decor 15K. Let's get it. Rev ain't playing. I got to get my core pay application in, man. I got to get that one in, man. I'm playing around with that. Uh, just been busy, man. Been watching videos. I appreciate you, Nicholas, man. I appreciate all the love, my brother. Absolutely. Stuff does more than the motivational speeches. Yeah. Um, yeah, the motivational speeches, you know, sometimes, you know, um, sometimes you just got to execute, you know, motivational, you know, I listen to a lot of motivational, you know, speakers, shout out to Eric Thomas and people like that. But, you know, sometimes, you know, that shit motivates you in the execution too. So that's what I'm all about on this channel, man, is how do we execute on the information that I'm teaching you? I'm giving you the strategies. I'm giving you the blueprint. I'm showing you how to actually go about doing it. And if you need my help, I'm here for you as well. So that's kind of how my philosophy is when it comes to business credit and, and personal credit and things like that. But yeah, man, we got a bunch of approvals this week. Next week, we're going to keep it rolling. Shout out to Rev, 20K Core Pay, and uh, Floor in the Core. So without further ado, man, let's get into tonight's topic, man. So we're going to talk about the top 
and I want to say the top three. I don't want to give a whole laundry list, but I'm gonna give you the top, the best three gas cards to start building business credit. Now, a lot of you guys uh, that are new to the channel, you may not know, but I favor and I am a fan of building business credit uh, using the gas cards and the nav accounts. So two nav accounts, two gas cards. So if you've got access to the cheat sheet, you'll understand why I like the two gas cards, two nav account strategy. Now, I'm going to be doing a video, uh, a short video, not a live stream, probably in the next week or so about an update on how to actually set up those two nav accounts. So for now, I would say get the cheat sheet. And if you got questions, make sure you book your free strategy call when we get those back rolling. But the two nav accounts, two gas cards. Now, the reason why I like the two gas card strategy along with building, you know, um, the foundation with the two nav accounts is because most of the gas cards report to all three business bureaus right and one of the reasons why i even started this channel why i even kind of came into the space and started you know just highlighting different strategies and teaching people about business credit was because a lot of people will say open up net 30s open up net 30s right quill granger uline but what i found was that you know some business owners can't really necessarily utilize a quill or or, or uline or anything like that right and so with that being said i mean logically i just thought well what can a business owner use that they can still build business credit and so two gas cards right you know if you get two gas cards most gas cards report to all three business bureaus right because now you're building your business profile which we talk about in step four um so let me back up just a little bit right when we talk about the five steps to building business credit right and i'm gonna do a whole breakdown i'll probably do a webinar here live on a, a, a free training uh next week sometime uh on the channel where basically you have step one, form the business, right? Form your LLC, your S Corp, your C Corp. If you need help with that, you can go back on my channel. I did a whole live stream showing you how to set up your business step one. And we did a, a whiteboard video on that. So go back on the channel and you can go through the videos and see that. Then step number two, you want to make sure that you're bank compliant. You want to have your email, domain name. You want to have a phone number website if possible and things like that step three you want to make sure you list your business right you want to be on google uh yelp 411.info and then step number four you want to actually build the small trade lines right so that's what we're talking about tonight building small trade lines using the gas card now here's the beauty of the gas cards you could build your paydex score with just gas cards if you really wanted to just get all the way granular with it you could take you know, the gas cars that we're talking about tonight, all of them report to Dun & Bradstreet. And essentially, in order to get a Dun & Bradstreet Paydex score, you only need three unique payment experiences. So if you have a Uline account and you order three times from Uline, that will not give you a Paydex score. But if you have Uline, Quill, and then it's a, uh, the, the BP MasterCard, so now you got three unique payments, three different trade lines reporting, then Dun & Bradstreet will generate a Paydex score. Now, um, depending on your payment type, I mean, your payment history, how early or how late you pay the payment will determine what the actual numerical score is. But typically, if you pay the invoice on time, if you're not late, you'll get an 80 or above. OK, a lot of people teach how to get a 100 payday score. I mean, a 100 payday score is really not going to move the needle when we're talking about business funding. Right. When we're talking about bank funding. I mean, it will help if, if you're adding you know, some higher limit, you know, revolving trade business trade lines, you know, people sell business trade lines for, um, you know, a couple thousand that you can, you know, maybe add a $10,000 revolving line to your Dun & Bradstreet profile. I don't see the point of it or, you know, see how it could be cost effective. It will, you know, most of us are operating small businesses where we're not making, you know, less than half a million, some even less than 200,000. So to spend 5k on a, vendor trade line that only reports to the business bureaus i would say stay away from it but um with that being said um the beauty of the gas cards is that you could literally build your paydex score with just gas cards okay now again like i said you just need three unique payments in order to do that okay so i like to mix it up i like to have some gas cards for the 
the uh, the revolving trades, and then I also like to have some net thirties just to show payment history. But you could literally just do it with just the gas cards, okay? So I'm gonna bring up my screen, man, and we're gonna kind of get into. Um, let me know in the comments what gas cards you guys have. Um, let me know which gas cards you have. I know we have somebody got approved for the Wex. We have somebody got approved for Chevron. So anybody else, let me know what gas cards you have that you got approved for. So let me see if I can share my screen. Uh, let's see. I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to get into it, family, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Always showing love. Uh, let's see. Can y'all see my screen? All right, cool. So these are some of the gas cards that I recommend that you start out with, right? So if you're watching this on the replay and you're wondering what actual gas cards should you be applying for, um, we'll kind of break down the list and go through each one of these. But um, just to break it down, you know, you got the Wex Bank gas card, right? And so Wex Bank is actually the bank <clears throat> that underwrites um the shell card right so they underwrite the shell card they also underwrite the um the 7-eleven card valero marathon um you can get multiple uh wex gas cards for multiple businesses okay um so like uh the, the gentleman earlier said he got approved for a thousand dollar wex card um chevron texaco is also wex um as well most i would say probably 80 percent of the gas cards that you'll find out there on the market are underwritten by wex um so they are the biggest biggest players so to speak i wouldn't say they are the largest but they do have the most gas station locations uh for one bank right and then you also have the ability um so 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 you have that one right and then next you have the bp mastercard so the bp mastercard is another great gas card and you can actually see that this gas card now here's the beauty of the of the the bp mastercard right is backed by fleet core right so com data fleet core etc right um even fuel man so the fuel man is the one that i like in the bp mastercard the wex bank card is a lot harder to get and i'll pull them up here on the screen in a minute it's a lot harder to get these days the wex card um it's not impossible if you apply for the wex card and you get denied for it just shoot me an email at info at cbcanetwork.com and i can plug you in with my guy over at wex to get you set up uh, or at least try to see what we can do um so like i said with the with the gas card with the bp mastercard the beauty of this bp mastercard is that if you use this gas card properly and you take care of it and use it right it can turn into this gas card right here right if you see up here in this left hand corner it does not say fuel and maintenance only this is a unsecured mastercard four thousand dollar limit that i can use to cut on utilities at a rental property which i did if i need to pay contractors if i need to buy supplies if i need to go to um sam's club and get you know uh gas i can get gas with it as well right so that's why I like the Fleet Core BP MasterCard because it has the ability to become a unsecured gas card. I mean, unsecured MasterCard. Okay. And you can use it just like any other MasterCard, right? Like the Barclays Aviator MasterCard. That's a MasterCard that I could swipe and use for cash in my business. Same thing with the, uh, with this BP MasterCard. So that's why I like the, uh, the BP MasterCard. So when we're talking about, which ones to go for first i always recommend the bp mastercard first that's the first one you should apply for okay um and now if bp is not in your area then you can apply for calm data or fuel man so those are the three that i like to start with um and then the thing to re remember about the bp mastercard if you see down at the bottom the bp mastercard is a net 14 so it is a net 14 now um I have been able to build a relationship with one of the larger gas companies, gas car companies, RTS. So my man, Mark, just put it in the comments. Uh, RTS is great. Um, and we're going to actually uh, do a whole live stream on just some of the some of the features and the programs that they offer at RTS. So we'll make sure that you guys get a discount and you can get your uh, RTS application submitted. We're just waiting on the landing page. So as soon as I get the landing page, I'll put the link in the description in the comments. You can sign up for RTS. So I did not include RTS tonight because I'm going to actually do a whole live stream on them uh, probably in the next week or you know, probably next week at the, at the earliest. But 
the one thing about RTS that I do like is that they um, they offer a Pilot Flying J Titan card. And the reason why I like Pilot Flying J, even though it is a net seven, and what that basically means is that your payment is due every seven days in full. So if you spend a hundred dollars this week on gas, you need to pay a hundred dollars uh, in seven days. Now, the reason why I like the RTS version of this Pilot J card is that it's basically like a line of credit, so it's open ended, right? Um, now it is doing full, but it operates more like a line of credit. Now you can't use it outside of their network, so you can't use it like how I can use this BP Mastercard um, at like a um, at a shell or, or uh, Valero or whatever. So you do have to stay inside of the network, but the pilot flying J's are great for truck stops, right? A lot of people who subscribe to the channel are in trucking, or maybe they have a uh, truck trucking business. You know, we got some students who have logistics companies and um, you, you, you can really utilize that, that RTS slash pilot J. So let me, let me see if I can bring up uh, RTS real quick. And uh, we'll we'll kind of go through uh, RTS, but those are the three gas cars that I personally would recommend that you start with. So if you're looking to build business credit in 2022, uh, I would start with the BP Mastercard or the in the fuel man so i would try to get both of those right if you remember if you guys go back and watch the live streams we did earlier last year you know we had a friend to the show kia she came on the channel and talked about how she was able to get i think a fourteen thousand dollar bp mastercard and then she also was able to get a ten thousand dollar fuel man car so that's 24k in gas cars now remember that bp mastercard after a certain time in account review, it can become an unsecured MasterCard. So keep that in mind, family, as you go about building business credit. Always keep it, keep the end in mind. You know, a lot of these vendor accounts we can't utilize, but the ones that we can utilize, we want to take care of them. Okay. And that BP MasterCard is one that you definitely want to be having your wallet, having your um have it in your um in your repertoire. Okay. So that's definitely want to make sure that you put into your repertoire and again if you're watching this live make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you share this out so you know more people can hop in the live stream we're gonna get into some q a here we're not gonna stay on too too long tonight family because you know the wife is not feeling the best so i gotta make sure i tend to my baby but those are the three gas cars that I recommend. Now, as far as RTS, let me pull up. Let me because I like their program. The reason why I like RTS the best um, is because they offer a lot of discounts at different. Um, they offer a lot of discounts at various um, fuel gas stations. So let me see if I can pull up this is the Axel. All right, so here we go, RTS. So you can save up to 25 cents or even more per gallon, um, you know, just with, with RTS gas cards. So um, let me see if I can pull up my screen. I'm going to pull up RTS. So you can see here, family, um, this is why I like the RTS fleet program, right? And like I said, I just you know, got hooked up with them. So you guys will be able to start applying for your RTS cards with the landing page. We just don't have it set up yet. Um, but this is why I like the RTS program because not only do they give you 25 cents, up to 25 cents per gallon. You see here, they have over 2000 fuel stations and credit lines up to $2,500 per week. So basically you start out with a $2,500 line of credit and, you know, for a trucker, um, let's say if you're getting lows, you, you got, you know, uh, you got to spend about five, six hundred dollars in gas just to take the load from one place to the next. Well, now with the RTS card, you swipe, you fuel up, you're not coming out of pocket for that. Right. Because when you drop the load off, that's when you, you know, get the invoice and get paid. So now you are pretty much able to operate your business um, and keep cash in your business because now you don't have the fuel expense. Right. The fuel is. The expense of fuel kind of is eliminated with RTS. Now, don't get me wrong. With BP MasterCard, um, they do have diesel uh, 
pumps as well. A lot of the WEX stations have diesel pumps, but I like the RTS program for truckers and just for, you know, um, us as business owners. I'm, I'm, I'm signing up for RTS myself because when you get the, the pilot J car, what the, the thing that I like about them is that they have over 2000 fuel stations also. So it's not just for diesel fuel. OK, so it's not just Pilot J that you can use this car for right now. You get the best discounts at Pilot J. Right. You will get the, the highest discounts on gas at Pilot J. And, uh, you know, I was just talking to the rep today, you know, my guy Scott. And he was saying that some people save on average per fill up um, anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks a fill up. OK, so they're getting 40 dollars off just from you know using the rts um gas card okay and you can see you can save up to 25 cents per gallon um save an average of 25 cents per gallon over 2,000 fuel stations every time you get approved you get a 2500 line of credit so you got up to 2500 that you could spend on fuel in your business and you can also use this for like toro right like let's say if you were a toro host or if you um you do short loads if you do like uh box trucks things like that it's great for that you know even um uber drivers right if you're an uber driver if you drive uber if you do instacart and you have your llc and you're getting paid through your llc from instacart or uber then you can also use this um this gas card as well so it's a great um it's a great program and like i said next week we'll do a whole deep dive into it uh, to kind of, you know, show you guys more about it and, uh, you know, definitely um, get you signed up, man, because that's the goal, man, is get you guys approved. You know, my link will get you kind of straight into my guy over there at RTS. So you won't even have, you know, to do a whole lot of um, guesswork or digging. You'll just come straight through my link, through my portal. And uh, you'll come right into the network and get signed up. But that's RTS. So let's let's look at. Let's look at um, let's look at the Wex card, right? Let's look at Wex um, next. So I like Wex because with Wex you're able to book travel. So if you look here, this is Wex Bank. You know um, that is the bank that underwrites most of the the larger gas stations that most major metropolitan cities have so um that's going to be like your shell right that we talked about your shell gas card i don't know if y'all can see that um that's going to be your 7-elevens that's going to be your marathons that's going to be your valeros all of those are kind of underwritten by wex right and so the beauty of the wex card is that um you can actually use this card not only for gas but you can also use it for travel so if you see here it says accepted at 95 percent of u.s gas stations so that's why i say it's going to basically be accepted at pretty much any gas station that you go to across the u.s so if you're traveling from one state to the next you pretty much got options with the with the wex gas card um, and so that's why I like the Wex card, you know, not only for the flexibility that you can book travel, but that you got pretty much uh, unlimited um, gas pumps that you can go to. Um, it even works at BP. It works at QT. I forgot about QT. So you could kind of see, um, you know, Casey Speedway. Um, you can build business credit. Shout out to my guy, Josh. Get business credit channel. Um, you know, a lot of the vendor accounts that he started with that were reporting to uh Experian and Dun and Brad were gas cards. If you go back and watch on his channel, um, you can see that a lot of those um early approvals that he got when he was starting to build business credit for that uh for the new company, if you kind of watch this journey, um, they were gas cards, right? And so that's why I like the gas cards a lot because of the fact that you can start build business credit and you can utilize these trade lines. Because remember, like I said, the problem with the vendor accounts is that sometimes you can't utilize Uline. You may not be able to use uh Granger or um even um I'm trying to think of some more tier ones, you know, Granger, Quill, uh, Staples, things like that, Office Depot. So this is another way that you can start building business credit and starting to get trade lines that report to all three business bureaus. OK, so that's that's why I like the Wex card, because you can book travel 
and you can use it at multiple locations across the nation okay so um last one let's get into the last one family and we're gonna get into some q a um is the bp slash fuel man so i like the bp gas card a lot um you know it's one of the ones that you could pretty much get pretty much out of the box without a lot of vendor uh without a lot of vendors that report okay and so if you kind of look ah did i lose it all right so if you look um they have the bp solutions right and then they have the bp solutions fuel plus what i would recommend is going for this gas card so if you're watching this on the replay and you're trying to figure out which gas card to go for this is going to be an easier and approval this one right here this is going to be an easier approval um and it still works the same so you can still um it, it reports to all three business bureaus you still get about a fifteen hundred dollar to uh five thousand dollar initial credit line that's usually what they approve you for now if you go for the one with the mastercard remember that they may ask for a deposit so I think that's where a lot of people get confused when they're actually um, applying for the BP MasterCard. They're wondering which one to get. I would recommend go for the one without the MasterCard and see if you get approved. And then you can just upgrade to the MasterCard. So if you see this one I have here is on the left hand side. That's the actual MasterCard logo. That's the one that you can use that, you know, um, you can use for uh, paying your staff. You can use it for contractors. You can use it for rental properties if you need to cut on utilities, things like that. So uh, Airbnb, whatever the case may be, whatever business that you operate. Um, so if you're going for the BP gas card, I would suggest getting the one without the MasterCard logo. I would apply for that one. If you don't have scores, if you have scores, then go ahead and apply for the MasterCard. But those are the kind of the three, man, that I, I, I highly recommend you start with to start building business credit in 2022, because it is important that you kind of get off to the right start when you're trying to build business credit. Um, and so that's why, you know, shout out to everybody who came to the one day masterclass. You guys kind of really got hit the ground running, um, you know, just kind of being in that class and understanding, you know, what actually it takes to start building business credit and getting funding, business funding, right? You know, the name of the master class is business funding made easy because we try to make it easy and simplify the process. So you're not, you know, worried or, you know, stressed out or confused or running into issues and having all types of problems arise and you really don't have an answer or a way to kind of have a strategy right everything we do everything we teach is strategic right even with the bp mastercard the strategy is to go ahead and get the bp uh gas card that doesn't have the mastercard logo and then you can upgrade to the bp mastercard all right so with that being said family we're gonna get to some q a let's go into the comments uh mark said i tried for chevron and arco from fleet core and denied for both because they said it was a double application it came back a couple days later for arco with deposit approval boom there you go so sometimes you do have to kind of lay off of the wex applications um now one thing i will say if you apply for more than two wex cards they will flag it as fraud so that may be what happened to you mark but you still was able to persevere and push through bro so i, I salute you for sure for sure um no damon the, the wex cars are not pg the wex cars are not pg my brother um disability said just got the wex fuel car and waiting on garrett from shell to get back okay absolutely that is what's up man no pg on wex two years in business so yeah the wex is good i still like wex a lot it's just a little harder to get you know it's a little tougher and um you know last year maybe me getting on the youtube channel or maybe a lot of the other youtubers who were kind of promoting wex a lot maybe they just decided to lead you know ease off of it uh rev said did you request bp to become unsecured no i didn't rev they actually did it automatically um but you can ask for an account review so in order to get the BP MasterCard unsecured, just ask them for an account review. So, you know, my my guy, Andrew, he put me on to the, but no, I did not, um, I didn't uh, request it. They just, they offered it to me. They said I could apply for it and I got approved and they sent it uh, in the mail. Um, 
I don't want to say that wrong. Building up business credit to get into Turo. Got Quill, Uline, Business Credit Central, Suma, Office Supplies, and Fleet Corps, Fuel Man, Gas Cars. Would these be enough to get a loan for a cash car for now? Um, it depends. If you're looking to get um if you're looking to get like a no PG vehicle loan from like uh Ford Motor Credit or Toyota uh, Motor Credit, Mercedes Benz, even Ally Financial, uh they do offer no PG vehicle loans. Uh I would say maybe get about 10, you know, 7 to 10 trade lines is 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 the good is a good um starting point. You definitely want to make sure your scores are high. Naji, uh, I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but uh, I would say maybe try to get to Sam's Club. Maybe try to get now. Um, are you willing to personally guarantee? Do you have the credit to do so? I would say if you have the credit to do so, then you you know depending on your region, you can go to like a PNC. They do great uh, terms and auto for auto loans for businesses in the in the business name. So PNC is great for vis, business vehicle loans. Uh, BBNT as well. Navy Federal for for um, uh, business vehicle loans in the business name. Uh, because at the end of the day, even if you PG a business car loan. It doesn't show on your personal credit, so it's, it's it's really like a mute point. You know, a lot of people go to no PG route. So I would say at this point, if you're trying to get into Toro, um, you may want to get a couple more trade lines. You may want to just go ahead and PG uh, because I have, I have heard that a lot more banks are doing repos for people who are using business uh, auto loans to put cars on Toro. So. Uh, maybe you just purchase it with your, uh, maybe you purchase it in your personal name and then just sell it to your business. That, that may be a, a workaround. Um, jazz said, I hope your wife feel better. Yeah, me too, man. Definitely, man. We're going to get the wife taken care of, man. Um, uh, just got in the Navy federal. That's a win. That's a win for sure. That is a win. Travel put me on. Yeah, now nah, you can definitely use the Wex card for travel. You just go inside of your payment portal, and on the left hand side, you'll see where it has like where you can the ability to book travel and things like that. Um, Lewis says, which bureau does BP Mastercard pull from? I'm not sure. I want to say Dun and Brad Street. I do know that if you have an 80 paid X, it's a lot smoother, um, but it's not as hard to get without a paid X either. Um, trying to say, when you coming to the D? I don't know, man. We got to come to Detroit. We got to do something in Detroit, man. I might have to link link with the homie Anton Daniels, man. Come up there and holler at uh, my homie Asia Denson. You know what I'm saying? Holler at my homie Ken doing big things in the real estate market up in Detroit. So I don't know. I'm going to definitely try to get to Detroit sooner rather than later. Let's let's say that. Um, so, so be on the lookout. We, we're working on some uh we'll do some dubs at some point uh, when this COVID situation gets under control. But um uh now G pronounced now G. Ah, okay. Now G. All right, cool. I was close. I was close. Uh Nicholas said I got the MX business blue plus with using EIN with PG. If I don't have Dunn's number yet, is it it won't report to the bureaus nicholas it may report to experian so with mx they do report uh to experian certain cards um the business blue plus i think does report to experian i'm not sure but um it's tough to say if you don't have the duns number but i would suggest nicholas is just go ahead and use the card because mx doesn't report to business or personal per se um now it does report to the sbfe and for those of you who came to the one day master class you know that's the small business financial exchange that's one of the more the lesser known business bureaus um sbfe you have credit safe um those are kind of the ones that most people don't necessarily talk about because not a lot of vendors report to it uh even though credit safe is the largest uh business credit bureau in, in the world it's an international business credit bureau they are um you know, more and more vendors are starting to report to them. So that's one you definitely want to keep on your radar. But yeah, Nicholas, I would say I wouldn't worry too much about the, the Amex reporting to business profiles because, you know, it's just like the Barclays card, right? You can use it for 
it doesn't report the business or personal. So it's kind of a good thing. Whereas like the city AA advantage, right? Like this city AA advantage card, it reports to uh business experience and done in Brad Street. So um if you're looking for a trade line that that with higher value line attached to it, I was get the city card. Um yeah, that's what I would do. Um now G said I have excellent credit, so I might as well do a PG. I did it for my Chase Business Credit Unlimited. So that might be the move. Yeah, I would do that. I would just go ahead and PG the first car. Uh, I mean the first car in the business name. You know, like I said, if you want to go the no PG route, you probably want to get about eh, seven to ten trade lines reporting on DMB and potentially uh business equifax. Um, so yeah. It just kind of depends, man, how soon you want to get the funding. Because remember, with Toro, you know, a lot of those cars, you kind of got to, you know, cars are hard to get now. So maybe reach out to a couple banks. If you got approved for the Chase Business Inc. car, I don't know if Chase does business vehicle auto loans. But if they do, I would definitely check them out because it sounds like you got a good relationship with them. And if you got excellent personal credit, that would, you know, that would be another way to build a relationship with Chase. Um, check out Bank of America as well, Naji. Bank of America is the best uh, program for business vehicle loans out right now. Um, they'll give you up to, I want to say, six vehicles in your business name uh, for one business. So for Toro, it may not necessarily pan out because a lot of, like I said, a lot of these banks are cracking down on Toro. Um, when you finance the car in the business name for Toro specifically, so it's kind of some workarounds around that, but you know, we can't get into it on the channel. Um, but keep that in mind. Um, Belinda said, I wanted to get the discount for Experian Boost, but I was denied for the Brex card. Is there another way to get the discount? I can get you, I can get you the discount. Uh, Belinda, just shoot me an email info at cbca network.com. So I can get you, I can get you squared away. Or if you're a part of our um, free Facebook group, CBCA Network. Um, dot, I mean, business funding made e easy. CBCA Network. I can get you in. I can get you the the discount. So no worries there, Belinda. A few more questions. Few more questions. I think you mentioned it before, but if you have all of these vendor trade lines, is it helpful to do the two nav account boost? Or would it be a waste? No, it's not necessarily helpful, man. Honestly, the nav, the two nav accounts, honestly, I'll give you the honest answer. When I first came into, you know, education and teaching people about business credit, the reason why I promoted the two nav accounts was because you 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 basically don't have a need for some of these vendor accounts, right? Like um pins, uh, what is it? Pins.com, P-E-N-S.com. Nobody's ordering that many pins. So for you to go dot com and vendor trade line their reports and spend you know 100 bucks 200 bucks on pins it just didn't make sense right so with the two nav accounts it's pretty easy to set those up you just have two different emails you get the business boost plan you get the business loan builder plan with two different emails and so it was just an easier way to streamline getting scores but it seems to be some some discrepancy or people get confused about how to actually set that up. So I'm going to actually have to do a talking head, you know, more of a shorter form video. Um, I actually did it on my live stream before, but it just seems like people still not able to kind of grasp how to set it all up. So I'm going to do a screen share, do a whole video breakdown on that. Um, uh, Barbara said, what are good scores for Experian and Equifax? Equifax, um, I would say anything over 400 uh experian 85 8, 85 70 to 85 um is a good score that's a good score uh oops i missed one james said is wells fargo secure card worth it no 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 i would just get the unsecured card james i would not mess with the secure card with wells fargo it's too much confusion it's too much discrepancy around whether they do or don't report i will stay away from it uh, for the relationship or just pay the deposit on the gas card. Yeah, I would just pay the deposit on the gas card. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't get the secure card with Wells Fargo because the gas card is going to report to all three business bureaus. So keep that in mind, too. You know, we, we're talking about the 80 paydex strategy, right? So for those of you who are not familiar with the 80 paydex strategy, you can get your free cheat sheet at 80 paydex cheat sheet dot com is going to outline the whole 80 paydex strategy from start to finish on how to execute on that. But um, 
yeah, I would say get the gas card because it's going to report to all three business bureaus. Yeah, that's what I would do, James. Um, so Nicholas says, I'm only 20, so my credit is very young. My mom got some old credit cards, 26 years old. Does becoming an authorized user increase my age? Yes, it will, Nicholas. But I would say first things first, um, if you have pretty decent good, if you have good credit on your own, I would maybe try to build your profile with some primaries. So I would I would maybe try to get about six or seven of primary accounts that's attached to your social security number and then maybe add on one or two of your mom's authorized users. That's how I would do it, uh, because you still want to have primary accounts in your personal name. So if you only got like three credit cards in your personal name and let's say the limits are um, two thousand or below, you still want to start building your personal credit, getting those limits higher, getting more uh, primary accounts. OK. Um, he said, because I keep seeing hearing people say if you got young accounts, become an AU. Yeah, AUs used to be a thing, honestly, Nicholas. AUs were great pre-2020, but more and more banks and more and more lenders kind of just discredit them now. Now, if you're going, you know, if you're doing like applications online and you're just doing like credit card stacking, yeah, you know, AUs can kind of work in your favor. But if you're talking about getting business lines of credit, business credit cards, with smaller local banks, they're going to pull your credit and they're going to actually read the credit report. They're not just going to give you uh, a approval based off the score. Most of them won't. Um, so that's that's what I would say about that. Um, BRKN says, if your listings aren't ready, does it make sense to approach NAV? Yeah, because NAV will report it to the bureaus. Um, so if you don't have all your listings, I would say still go ahead and set up NAV because um nav will report it to the bureaus and then that'll be your data points right there um just make sure whatever information you put in nav that you list it is all the same on the secretary of state um miss diane what's going on family she said is it hit or miss with nav to accounts ah uh, yeah i mean maybe i don't really know honestly i really don't know i'm gonna have to build another company from scratch to see because right now, all my companies I've already built, so I would have to build one out from scratch. Um, see, I'm on my wife's profile now, so maybe we'll see. Um, James said, thank you. You're very welcome, my brother. Very welcome. Um, uh, Najee said, I thought of trying Airbnb next year. Do you think it would be all right to have it under my LLC for Turo or just establish a new LLC to separate a liability? Yeah, you can do it all under one. If it's a new company, if you have an established, because I mean, the thing about LLCs, they're so flexible. Um, but talk to your tax strategist, Najee. Um, if you need help with taxes, I'm going to post this um, website. Make sure you reach out to our resident in in-house tax strategist my homie ola o at gettaxfacts.com so reach out to her that's probably a tax strategist question um you can also reach out to my homie carista kearns uh at k and k tax associates but i would say for now if you did airbnb and toro under one llc you know that's young you, you haven't filed taxes on it yet um it wouldn't hurt but definitely, you know, talk to a tax professional. Um, let's see, let's see what's going on, Jay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate you tapping in. Um, Nicholas said I got seven accounts reporting right now, and decent limits around two to five k. I was just asking because I was doubting my ability to receive loans due to how young. No, you could, you could, you could go with the AUs. Um, I would just say, yeah, if you got about seven accounts, then yeah, you could add the AUs. I think what I was, what I was saying is that some people they only have like one or two accounts, and then they add like four or five authorized users. Yeah, you don't want to do that. But if you got about seven accounts reporting, um revolving or installment it really is it's a, it's a game changer you know what i mean um yeah, yeah 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 so no problem um he said the block is hot with nav i don't know man maybe i maybe i, I messed that up for us man we'll, we'll figure out another way uh yeah no doubt now g you welcome man um jay said so the the thing with nav is they no longer do the double dip they've caught on so even the old strategy you shared doesn't work because of that it still works for me 
I mean, I, I haven't had any problems. You know, most of my students, we still able to get the two NAV accounts. But, yeah, it, it could be going away. Who knows? Uh, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. I mean, like I said, tonight, even if you just got the three gas cars that we talked about tonight, you know, that eliminates even having the NAV accounts. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, now, there's some nuance to setting up the two NAV accounts, too. So maybe that's just the issue. People not able to, you know, they're not savvy enough to just go in there and set them up. I really don't know. Uh, this ability said, appreciate the game. Definitely going to continue to follow. Yeah, man. Tap in. Let's get on this journey, man. I want to see you all getting funded, man. That's the goal, man. That's why we are here every week. Um, she said, however, they will gladly let you pay for both accounts. Yeah. I mean, cause this is the thing, you know, most people, when they check their raw data files, they're not, oh, excuse me, when most people check their profile, they're checking their nav, they're checking their scores and their profile through nav.com. Nav is a third party. I keep telling you guys, nav is a third party, meaning that you won't get the raw data file from nav. So even like now, like my business profile now, um, I see the two nav accounts in Experian on my DMV profile, but in nav, I don't only see one. So that's, that's all I'll say about nav guys. Um, big daddy B said, you should have a different. Yes. So everything went out, uh, big daddy B. So you should have got an email, um with the actual handouts and everything else that came with it if you didn't just uh shoot me an email yep 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 um yeah so lewis said it worked so it just i just did the two navs last month if they changed they just did it yeah i mean I think it's just the way you set it up. So I'm going to do a video on it. I'm going to have to build out a new profile from scratch and see for myself because I don't like to give, you know, he say, she say, or this person said, this person said, I'll just give you the first hand data points myself. All right. Um, it's hard to get gas cars on tier one. It's really not, Wynetta. It's really not. It's really not. You just have to set up everything we talked about. So step one, form the business. Step two, become bank compliant. Step three, list the business. Step four, build small trade lines. It's really in that order can't skip the steps uh jay said i just hoped i just hopped on what cards did you share are all requiring deposit my newest business is days old so i wasn't sure yeah just the same ones uh bp mastercard um wex card and the pilot j flying j so we actually have a relationship with rts um now so we'll be uh doing a rollout for rts card as well i like that program the best because you can save the most on gas you can save up to 25 cents a gallon so even if you're saving 10 15 cents a gallon um over a month's time that that adds up for every gallon you're saving 15 cent i mean it's really it's really a no-brainer to go with rts um jose said i just did e credible today audrey next i'm going for nav the gas cars awesome awesome jose you on the right path, my brother. Uh, got the email on the handouts. When do you think you'll have time to circle around to the second one with the other follow-up info? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that one, BRK. Um, the second email? I'm not sure about what you mean. Uh, Wynetta said, I have five trade lines, but keep getting denied. It could be that they're doing a soft pull on your personal credit. It could be that. I know in some cases um if you apply for the gas cards and put your social in they will do a soft pull now one hack or one way that you can kind of get around putting in your social is you fill out the first part of the uh application and if you go back and watch my channel go back and watch the video on uh gas cards that i did the other live stream not this one but we showed you how to actually go in fill out the first page of the application click out of it put your email in and then they'll email you a link like a couple days later to go in and actually um finish the application where you don't need to put in your social security number and things like that so that could be the issue why not if you put in your social security number and they did a soft pull what's going on althea um i need you to email me althea please please email me at your earliest convenience um no rush uh the goat <laughs> i appreciate it vanessa Appreciate you. I appreciate you. 
Um, she said, I'm gonna try again for the gas card. Yeah, I mean, just keep trying. You know, I get denied too. Everybody on the channel will tell you you get to deny for everything. Uh, you mentioned a second email on the plan for oh, yes, the strategy call. So that'll be coming. Yeah, you guys will be getting that email first because you guys came to the last master class. So yeah, uh, I'll send that email out probably Monday or Tuesday, BR and BRK, once we get the link and the calendar and everything set up. So we're just setting up the back end for that to get you guys put for the strategy calls um let's see what else we got uh i have equifax and experience business score but nav is telling me to establish business credit i have nav quill and uline uh t mac that's a solid profile that's a solid i wouldn't i maybe would add a gas card but if you got nav quill uline maybe wex or bp um just depending on what your goals are all right the first page method works to the point they call you yeah yeah yep 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 all right man we're gonna wrap this thing up family um i was just about to give some info on e-credible i don't recommend it okay belinda says she don't recommend it family so it is what it is uh and that i'm sniffing around that prize thanks for everything though um i'm not sure what the, oh the prize yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so did you I, were you uh earnest brnk I, I can't remember who i know ernest was one of the people that won the prize uh yeah no problem t mac very very welcome uh what's up p l s r d a b k you welcome to the party man we just kind of wrapping up here talking about you know the best gas cars to start building business credit in 2022 the gas cars we talked about tonight these are the gas cars that you want to focus on now, like I said, I'm going to do another video on RTS. So I don't have the link in the description yet for RTS to go ahead and apply. I don't have my landing page yet. They're building my landing page for me. Uh, so y'all bear with me. I should have the landing page by the next live stream next week, next next Wednesday. So just bear with me and uh, we'll, we'll make sure that you guys get the live, um, the link live on the live stream. Uh, this will be the last question. We'll wrap it up. Uh, how do you link both nav accounts? Does it link automatically? You don't need to link them, Ch Chakam Boom. Uh, you don't need to link them. You just set each individual nav account up with two separate emails. Um, so that's maybe why a lot of people are running into issues. I'm not sure. Uh, how do I get the Equifax scores up? Uh, a lot of the uh, Equifax is is um is uh <clears throat> based on your personal credit uh we do have some vendors uh big sip that will report to business equifax um, but like i said the three gas cars we talked about tonight big sip that'll get you some trade lines on there as well um uh he said i need to speak with, i mean you can email me you know uh or just shoot me an email be P R R L S. I i'm not sure what the all caps is about P L S R D A B K. Yeah, just shoot me an email and uh, we'll, we'll we'll set up a call. Um, yeah, so just shoot me an email, info at CBCA Network. But yeah, family, we're going to get out of here. It's been great. Make sure you take action, execute, execute, execute. Go apply for the gas cards. If you get denied, figure out what the reason why you got denied. Make sure you got your listings. Go through all the steps. If you need help, if you need a, a, a guide or a cheat sheet or some kind of way to kind of focus on what you need to be working on head over to 80 paydex cheat sheet.com it's going to actually take you to the link you put your name and email in it's going to email you the link to the cheat sheet you can download it make a copy and you can have it as a resource and a guide to help you build business credit all right family so uh with that being said i'm going to go ahead and get out of here i appreciate everybody for tapping in with me um yeah so we'll, we'll get out of here and uh we'll see you guys on the next live stream next week talk soon family y'all be safe and execute all right we'll see you later